middle man. Walk talking like a boss, I just lift a hand. Three million cash, call me Rain Man. Money like a shower, that's my rain dance. And we all in black. And first thing I wanted to say, please, if you're watching, like, comment, and subscribe. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about something that is literally amazing for me. It has helped me so much in so many ways. So I just wanted to share it with you. I feel like it's too good not to share with you. And it's basically herbs and herbal teas and how it's like changed my life. So anyway, I'm going to like just get into the video. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. And please, thank you for watching. Like, comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thank you. 2000 years later basically the number one herb that i found to be so beneficial for me personally is raspberry leaves it's literally like changed my life because basically let me just tell you like give you a brief explanation so you know like what used to happen to me is when i used to get like time of the month periods <laughs> cringe <laughs> but anyway when i used to get this I used to get extremely bad ones, like they were so bad, it was like chronic, like literally I couldn't even leave the house, like when I used to leave the house I fainted on two occasions and they were so bad and then when I discovered this herb which is called raspberry, leaf, raspberry leaves and I basically, I turn it into a tea just by boiling the leaves, I, I've purchased, I basically I purchased the, bri the dry ones from eBay and I've also, so yeah, oh my gosh, I keep forgetting what I want to say. So when I purchase the dry herbs from eBay, right, I just boil it with spring water. And when I do that, it's like, I drink that tea. And that literally, I drank it for like, I'd say, eight weeks, yeah. And after drinking it for eight weeks, it literally, my, pe my periods, like, they regulated. They stopped being extremely painful. And it enabled me to like not take no paracetamol, no painkillers, nothing like and I don't even drink it every single day what I do is, onto my period, like if I know it's like soon to come I'll basically just drink it and then like I'll drink it for a few days like before I try to drink it like on a regular basis and not just every day like I'd say even like once or twice a week and it literally has changed my situations for the better like it changed my health so much and I've also like bullet pointed exactly what these herbs do in the body like because they do so they're not just like specifically for periods but although like women have used these for centuries like to deal with like to soothe like painful periods like there's also like other stuff that it caters to as well and I've bullet pointed it like for example, it's also got like anti-cancerous properties, which is just amazing. Like it, I also drink burdock root, chamomile tea, a red clover, and raspberry leaves. And I found these teas to be like so beneficial for me personally. And I've also like put into bullet points, like just to instead of me just going into so much detail. If you want to read it, because some people might not be interested. Do you see what I'm saying? But it's just it. Raspberry leaves is like my number one herb to go to. It's like it's full of antioxidants. It's just so good for the body. It just helps me so much. And I feel like everyone should know about like drinking it and how the benefit, the health benefits. And yeah, that's what I basically just wanted to share that with you guys. Like, even if this just helps one person, I just think it's just, yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm just, like, bear with me guys. And the other thing I wanted to say was, yeah, just a quick disclaimer. Basically, these herbs do, some of them say they have potential side effects. But although me personally, I haven't experienced any. And I feel like this is through my personal experience. Like, from taking them, I've had so much health benefits, like clear skin. And it's like, literally, like, my periods was a major problem. Because it's like, I couldn't go, like... When it was severe, like, even, like, when I was going to pick up my son from school, I fainted, so it was really bad. And, like, now that it's regulated that, it's, like, literally changed my life. So it's really been beneficial for me. But back to the disclaimer, because I'm running off track again. What I want to say is, though it's been beneficial for me, it might not be beneficial for everyone. So just, like, do your own research. 
but for me personally it's been so beneficial and not only do these herbs help you from the inside they also help you from the outside as well like for example burdock root it like it has skin cleansing properly like clears your skin and so does red clover as well like they clip that that's one of the re that's one of the main reasons as well i wanted to start drinking it to clear my skin it can aid in weight loss and yeah anyway so i really hope you guys like found my video beneficial um just like disclaimer like i'm not saying these herbs are going to be as amazing as they were for me but for me personally they were ama they're amazing and i feel like this is my personal experience as well with like when it comes to nature i feel like you can't go wrong because it's like they're 100 natural if you see what i'm saying but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'm also going to add in a clip of me making red clover and I'm going to just show you quickly how I make it. And it's really simple. It's basically, you'll see in the next clip. So, thank you for watching. And please like, comment or subscribe. And hit the notification bell. Because I'm going to be making so much more content. I'm going to try and keep my channel quite popping. <laughs> so, thank you. Bye. <laughs> I've quickly bullet pointed the key health benefits of each herb. And each herb, you basically just make them in the same way. But I've also got a video up on my Instagram, how I make the raspberry leaf tea. The next herb is burdock root, which is a blood cleansing herb. And the final herb is red clover. And yeah, so if you're interested, just read all of the bullet points. So I've chosen to make red clover and I'm just going to tip some into my pot and then you can measure the water by using a mug. So depending on how strong you want it, if you want it really strong, you obviously you add more herbs and then if you want it like more diluted, more water obviously. So I'm just making a little cup before bed for myself and this this herb is really good as it clears your skin. But you must drink it like over a certain period of time for you to start noticing the effects of it. And once I bring it to boil, I'm just going to turn it to simmer. And then I, I pour it into my little jug. And then I'm going to strain it through and place it into my favourite mug. And voila, it's done. I will also link in the description box below my little strainer which I purchased from eBay and I also use a green pan which I purchased from eBay which is 100% toxin free.